The photography is kind of funny because when you show up in a country as beautiful as the Yukon and you start a tourism business with absolutely no idea basically where the hell you are besides you're in the Yukon. And you never looked at a geography book, you have no idea the history, like in general outside the Yukon, the Yukon is the best kept secret of Canada. And I fall into that act of just being stupid, like not a clue. I got here and was just like, wow, wow, this place is crazy. It's just a personal passion, hobby. Of sudden that we get to see that people around the world pay big money or just have no understanding of, and here we sit. We're just in the right spot. One time I was out in Kalani guiding for a company out of Switzerland, and it was just, you know, the end of August, beginning of September. And I got up one day because somebody's tent went zip, see what's going on. And there was a Northern Light show going on that I, oh, again, one of those ones. And they had this little cannon sure shot and I stuck it on a rock and tink and got it a beautiful picture, like fluke. And that kind of set the hook. And then every time I looked at that, that was it. I went and bought a D700, same camera, lenses, the whole nine yards and just went bonkers. Like went for different angles and always reflection shots. And we have so many historic areas here and big bodies of water and little ponds and just unique things. When you put a Northern light and that color and that design, which always changes, you never know the intensity of the show, but you can catch these stunning reflections that are looking right back at you. And I mean, I built my house, designed it so I can look at a bed. I don't have to get out of bed. I just look out Northern lights, come down the front of the house with my gear, you're pushing buttons on your camera and you're literally looking behind you because the show is over here and there's a show over there. So it's easy here to get addicted to. There's little towns lit up perfectly. I mean, how do you not? I do have one favorite shot. And what it is, I shot this picture in March 28th, 2011. It's a big mural in my house. It's been printed several places. And it's a picture of two big green swirls over top of Caribou Mountain. And I just caught such a calm evening and big show. And they're perfectly reflected. You can take the picture either way and you can't tell which it is. How do you not look at that and just go, oh, we gotta come see the lights. Every single night there's a show going on. And I used to do like every single night because there's a show going on. Like, why would you miss it? I'm a little kid in a candy store when it comes to the lights, period.